I'm Miss Cat. Whoa. Hi, I'm Miss Maxine. Hi, I'm Miss Betsy. Welcome to the garden! Hi friends, Miss Cat here, and I'm at the Lent School Garden. Today we are going to be talking about the parts of a plant and what a plant needs to be able to grow. So let's start with talking about the parts of a plant. Can you name all six parts of the plant? So let's use this tomatillo plant as an example. And as we go through the different parts of the plant, as I'm pointing them out, if you know the name, you can go ahead and shout them out. So the first part that I'm thinking of is the part of the plant that grows underground. And we can't see it here right now, but do you know what part of the plant I'm talking about? That's right, it's the roots. The next part of the plant is this part right here. Do you know what part of the plant this is? That's right, it's the stem. The next part are all these right here. And if you guess the leaves, you're correct. And then the next part is, show you up close, the flower. And then when the flowers are pollinated, they turn into a fruit, which are all of these really beautiful and tasty looking tomatillos. And then inside the fruit, we have the seeds. So that's all six parts of the plant. We have the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flower, the fruit, and the seeds. So to be able to grow as big and healthy as this beautiful tomatillo plant, plants need certain things, kind of like food. Do you think that plants eat pasta? No? Do you think that plants eat ice cream? No? Well then what is it that plants need to be able to grow? Oh, Jan, good morning. My name is Sammy Sunflower and boy, I sure am hungry for some breakfast. Hmm, what should I eat this morning? How about some sunshine? Ooh, that sounds like it'll be so good on my leaves. I'd love some sunshine. Nom, 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 yum. That was tasty, but I'm still feeling pretty hungry. I wonder what else I could eat this morning. Hmm. How about some water? Ooh, I would love some water. That would go so well with the sunshine. Yum, 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 yum. That water was tasty. Starting to feel a little bit more full, but I still feel like something is missing. How about some soil full of nutrients and I've got earthworms. Yes, I love earthworms. Earthworms are so good for my plant self. Yum, 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 yum. All right, I'm starting to feel pretty full, but I still think there's one more thing that I might be missing. How about some fresh air? Oh yes, fresh air is so good for plants. I'd love some fresh air. Oh, now that I've got my sun and my water and my soil and my fresh air, I sure am feeling good and ready to grow into a big, strong plant. Are you ready for your garden challenge? So your garden challenge after watching this video is to draw a picture of a plant that you've seen before. Maybe you're thinking of a plant that's growing in your yard or in a container in your house or just a plant that you've seen from a walk around your neighborhood and draw a picture of it but include all the things that a plant needs to be able to grow. All right, have fun and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you.